ABC Studios in Burbank, California. It's Dick Clark's Live Wednesday. Right now, I'm going to go backstage, and when I come back, I will no longer be Dick Clark. I will be a patient in a sketch entitled The Psychiatrist. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. David Steinberg. <laughs> Because you're near me <laughs> Darling, when you are near me Miss Jones, send in the next patient, would you please? I'm in the mood <laughs> Don't be frightened, I'm the psychiatrist office, everything counts. Which chair are you going to sit in? <laughs> Make your own free choice anywhere you like. I'm not here. Trust me, I could move you up. Get off! <laughs> if you... You see, if you trust me, I could move you out of here a happier, healthier person than the one that came in. The important thing is to relax. <laughs> Let me ask you this. I'll be right in! What specifically is your problem? Um, I have difficulty communicating. I, I, I can't communicate. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't understand you. <laughs> communicate with people communicating. Easy, easy. Go on through, go on through. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't think of your mother's gigantic bosom. All right, now that that is out of the wait, way... Wait, wait. I don't. You're not thinking of your mother's bosom? You know what it's like for a mother not to have her bosom thought about? That's the trouble with man. That's why man has no bosom, except for Victor Mature. But why bring him up? Look at him up! The important thing is that you trust me. Do you have any other problems? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid of things. Afraid of things? There is nothing in life to fear. There are only two things to fear. You gotta watch out for them, because they are going around. The main thing is to watch out for being called Liza with a Z, not an S with a Z. That's Liza with a Z called Liza. <laughs> now, and the other one? Pork. <laughs> watch out for pork. Makes you stupid. Now, in psychiatry, there are many ways that we can work. Get off! Don't pay any attention to them. That's what they like. Now, let me ask you this. Have you ever been with a woman? I know, I know. It's a little personal. But when I ask you this, it's not to make fun of you. This is what psychiatry is about. You must trust the doctor. We can have an apocalyptic moment. I can send you out there healthy. Trust. Trust. Have you ever been with a woman, yes or no? No. Ah, I've never had a girl! Look at look at the red hair! <laughs> Great. I know how you can be helped. Let us take an imaginary walk through the streets of Hollywood, and we'll see how you deal with each hypothetical situation as we come upon it. Give me your hand, and we'll stroll down the highways and the byways. <laughs> and the avenues. Give me your hand and we'll stroll down San Vicente, up Fountain, down Elk. I am a doctor! I've studied for 30 
32 years! I derive no sensual pleasure from the mere touch of your hand! First time. <laughs> now, what's the what? Tell me anything that you see in front of you, anything that comes into your mind at all. Any hypothetical situation, I will help you. I am the doctor. A girl. A girl. A girl. Good. 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 Next to the girl. What do you see next to the girl? She's pretty. Pretty. Show me what your approach is. I mean, how do you come on to her in your own? Hi, hon. Hi, hon. No good. She ran away. <laughs> Ng. No good. <laughs> Tb. Too bad. M.D., me doctor. <laughs> you see? <laughs> M. There's a very important lesson to be learned here. If you want to impress a girl, you never hold hands with a man. No! <laughs> An important break for the two of us. Booga, booga. I, I gotta get out of here. Get off! Ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, David. Oh. <laughs>